Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot to Essentials by Dev Dojo. And in this video, we are going to see how to execute post requests to our controller. Um, well, I was going to do some changes at the repository, but let's do that later. First, let's see how we can create a method here that will receive the post request. First, as you can see here, we have get map before mapping, and you probably guessed right. If you want to have post, we just call post mapping. Again, we could set a path here, but since we only have one post method, we are going to leave it this way without uh, any path. It means that if we execute a post request to slash enemies, this method will be executed. Now, uh, we have to define the response. And here we have, s I would say, three ways to do it. Uh, actually, four ways. The first one, just return uh, 201 created and nobody. Actually, very few people do this. Second, you can return the entire um, object. So, for example, if you're creating a new anime, you can return the new anime with the new ID. And some people agree that this is the best way to go. Second, you can return, actually third, you can return only the ID. So, you are creating a um, new object in the database and you just return that ID. And another one is using this uh, pattern right here called HATOS. I think that's uh, how you expel. So hypermedia as the engine of uh, application state. So there are different ways to do it. And again, in my opinion, the best way to go is having consistency across all your system. So if you're going to return the object, return the object for all post requests. If you're going to return the ID, the same pattern. Here, let's return the entire object. Um, and this will be save. Okay, so now we would like to receive the body. So we need an entire object that will probably come to us as JSON. So we will tell, hey, I'm expecting a request body. And this request body is of anime type. By having this uh, here, Spring will try to map the JSON to that's coming on the request body to this object right here using Jackson. So this means that this domain class, ID and name, will have to have exactly the same values in the JSON coming that request. So for example, if you had something like uh, like this, oh Jesus Christ, like this, um, this means that whoever is executing the request should tell, should write the key of the JSON exactly like this. So this is really important, the name of the key. If you would like to some to have something different, for example, only uh, in the Java level you have this name character and you would like people execute the request to have name, you would need to use kind of a JSON property here and tell, for example, that whoever is executed the JSON should have this as a name only, not name character. But uh, let's leave this as a name. And uh, going back here, what we are going to do. Uh, we have to create a new object, so uh, we actually need to change something here at our repository. First, uh, I'm going to change here since we are not using database. Let's uh, create a static list here. So we will be able to see our updated list. And I'm going to copy this here and I'm going to have a new array list why I'm doing this because when you do like this this is not modifiable unmodifiable list okay so we do have now this list we are going to return enemies here and uh, let's create the save method so love public anime save and we are going to get an enemy here as argument. Uh, we need an ID. So let's just uh, set some random value. We can tell here that we would like to start four and uh, go all the way to this big number. And now we add to the list. And we return this new enemy. Okay, so a couple changes here to simulate the database. Going back to anime controller, 
now uh, we would like to call the repository and save this anime so we can call here anime repository dot save anime so since we are already changing the reference of this object let's just return response entity dot ok and this entire object okay so i'm going to start the service right here uh, in the bug mode and now we unfortunately cannot execute post requests through uh, firefox but we can use postman for that so let's just test see if it wor it's working now uh, you can go to postman and you can create uh, a new request by clicking on this button right here i'm going to increase a little bit the size and uh, we can copy this entire url we had here we click send we have our get request working click over another tab and then you change from get to post and then uh, at the body select the tab body right here click over roll and then change from text to json and i'm going to copy this object here and i'm going to remove id because the id will be generated and then the name i'm going to give a new one called bobby bob and i'm going to click on send so the request url is empty okay we should add the url and then we have here our cowboy bebop and if we go back to our list we have now four values so this is how you execute uh, post requests to your controller i think uh, what we can take here is that whatever you are going to return you have to keep consistency across your entire system so that's it for this class see you in the next video bye